Hi everyone, Kieran here. Thanks for watching the previous video, which walks you through all the basics on the flat strategy and how powerful it can be in improving surface quality and reducing cycle times. Today, I want to walk you through some of the additional enhancements we have made to the flat strategy. We've expanded the flat strategy to support single pass profiling. Within the passes tab, you now not only have pocket and parallel options as before, but you now have the option for profiling as well. With profile selected, the toolpath calculates profile only passes on areas where steep regions and flat regions meet. Essentially, you get the same benefits as using the 2D contour strategy, but you also get the benefits of the toolpath now being model aware. This new addition to the flat strategy can also be used as a wall finishing strategy when applying multiple depths in the passes tab to vertical walls and flat floors. It's worth noting that multiple depth wall finishing is not currently supported on drafted faces. Additional improvements to the flat strategy now also benefit from having access to rest machining from a previous operation, which ultimately results in a more efficient toolpath with a greater degree of accuracy during in-process stock simulation. The flat strategy now provides a greater level of toolpath control and flexibility in order to improve your surface finishes and reduce your machining cycle times. Check out the links in the description below for a lot more information on the flat toolpath. And if you haven't already done so, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. From me, cheers.